We're going to be taking a look at the latest NHL trade rumors as we approach the NHL trade deadline. We're just 12 days away. We're looking at some goaltending options should the Maple Leafs decide to add some insurance and goal. We're also taking a look at some trade talk concerning teams like the Philadelphia Flyers, the Columbus Blue Jackets, the Florida Panthers, and more. We'll jump into all the latest coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to take a look at the latest NHL trade talk. We're less than two weeks away now to the NHL trade deadline. Uh, a lot of teams are trying to decide if they're buyers or it's going to be sellers or what's going to happen here. Uh, there was a few teams we thought for sure would be sellers, and now they kind of climbed their way back into the playoff race, such as the Nashville Predators, and they had a lot of players that were rumored to be on the block. So that could very well change things quite drastically for trade deadline day if they battle back in here. And as of right now, they are in a playoff spot as they have overtaken Chicago in their division and if they end up staying there uh, for the next week or so you have to think David Poyle might rethink things and I could still see them maybe tinkering a little bit but they're probably not going to be as an extensive uh, you know uh, clean out as we thought could have actually taken place which will drastically impact what other teams can get access to which is going to probably drive up the price a little bit on some of the other guys that are still on the market now then one team i want to look at first is the philadelphia flyers there's a lot of talk right now that chuck fletcher and the flyers have a lot of irons in the fire and that they might be working on a very significant trade of course we don't have a lot of details but the fact they put shane goss bear on waivers uh, made many think that they were a looking to clear some cap space to do something more significant and that they were hoping that he would get picked up to get that four and a half million dollar space back or to very least they could bury him through the taxi squad to get uh some more relief that way which is not as much but it's something uh so we know the flyers have had their struggles lately they barely come back to beat buffalo as a third period and overtime comeback the other night with the worst team in the league which that's not a good sign they were down three nothing going into the third we've seen the rangers blow them out completely out of the water a couple of times carter hart seems to be completely out of his element and lost his confidence uh, i think they want to give him some time off here give him a few games rest where he's not even the backup just to go reset uh, and see what he can get himself back together here and like i said in the meantime you have to think that a more significant trade could be taking place now the flyers were one of the main teams linked to the predators before so i wonder if that'll impact things but you know the preds could still decide to make a move i mean we saw a team uh, for example a few years back like the st louis blues in a playoff spot and treated Paul Stastny for a first round pick. I know the team itself was quite surprising. We're in the playoff battle here and you're subtracting from our team. At the end of the day, Nashville might get into a playoff spot and hold it down, which is good for them. They've been playing well lately. But they have to acknowledge that of all the play they saw earlier in the season that, you know what, they may not be the team long-term that they want to be. And if the right deal is there, especially a hockey trade, then maybe they should explore that. So, I mean, but the Flyers, they, they were rumored to be looking at uh, Ekholm on the blue line, as, as well as maybe some of the forwards that were potentially available as well. We know in the Flyers uh, that their blue line has been really, really bad. Uh, they could use some help there. So a guy like Ekholm would be tremendous. Uh, they've also... You know, haven't been getting a lot of great consistent production from some of the top forwards. And just with the rumors out there, it makes you think that a significant trade involving maybe a bigger contract like a JVR, Claude Giroux, Jake Forjack, could something like that be on the horizon? I mean, there's no rumors linking those particular players. That's just my own opinion. But based on the reports of something more significant, what could those things be? I think the Flyers could be in a situation or they're not necessarily looking to add as a rental that wouldn't make sense for them if they're going to make a trade it's going to be a hockey trade that's going to impact them now where they can battle or try to get into a playoffs but more so for the future to make sure that they're better for the next few years too so i guess we'll have to see what the flyers do but there's a lot of talk uh something significant is going down uh we'll just have to stay tuned and wait patiently until we find more about what they're working on now we also want to talk about the florida panthers now one player they could be linked to is somebody who's just jumped right to the top of the tsn trade bait board and that's columbus blue jackets defenseman david savard now they've done that for a couple of reasons because the predators have been playing so well those players are all moved down the trade bait board because they feel that there's a less likely uh, possibility they'll get moved now but columbus has done the opposite here they've kind of had a bit of a surge but now they've come back down and now they're looking for sure to be sellers so some of their guys like savard and felino have, have shot up and with savard being a pending ufa right shot defenseman that a lot of teams are looking for and covet it makes a lot of sense now he's been linked to the florida panthers as being one of the top teams to 
be uh, you know considering making that acquisition for a couple of reasons. One, they just lost Aaron Ekblad. They need help on the blue line. Savard's not not going to give you what Aaron Ekblad gives you, but he's a right shot defenseman. He's a rental. You'll get Aaron Ekblad bad next year. Like you know, they they're not going to be a perfect solution. They just need some help for that side of their the blue line, and he could certainly provide that. He's a veteran guy, and he's also very familiar with GM Bill Zito, who worked for the Jackets for a long time. So there's that connection there. So many feel it could be. Uh, you know, a decent fit, and it's not going to cost a fortune for the Panthers to make that acquisition. Now, there's other teams out there looking for help on the blue line, no, no doubt about it. But Savard is now number one on TSN's trade bait board, so we'll have to see what kind of return they get. I think it's pretty fair to say that he'll be moved. But there's also a lot of goalies out there, including some jacket goaltenders who could be on the move as well. Uh, I can mention Nick Felino in Columbus is also really high up on the trade bait board too. I'd be interested to see where things go with with him and his future. Even if he is traded, I still think there's a good chance Felino would re-sign with the Jackets in the offseason. He seems happy there long term. You have to wonder about the future of John Tortorella as well. There's certainly a big question mark in that regard. So it's difficult to say, but you have to think with all the goalies out there that could be moved because there was a recent article in Sportsnet from Luke Fox exploring goalie options that the Leafs could explore should they decide that they need to do that. I mean, all the NHL insiders right now are saying they're not looking to trade Freddie Anderson or replace Freddie Anderson by putting him on LTIR, but they will do it if they need to. They're still kind of feeling things out with whatever that injury he has that's going on that we don't really know a lot about, but we've already had... You know, some speculation, a team like uh, the Columbus Blue Jackets with Corpus Allo or Elvis, one of those two guys could be traded. Uh, it's been rumored for some time that they would want to move a goalie for help in other areas. So that's a real possibility. We already talked about Chris Dreger as well. Uh, Dreger's a guy in Florida that, you know, like I said, seems to be the odd guy out, even though he's played really well. Um, I think the odds are decent he gets traded or they'll end up losing him for nothing. I'm not sure what happens, but I don't see him being in Florida next year. You have the tandem in Arizona with Kumper and Ranta. There's a good possibility one of those two guys gets moved. And Don Waddell in Carolina has made it clear through an interview as well with Sarah Sivian of the Athletics saying he's open to treating a goaltender. And the article mentions the possibility of the Leafs looking to them as well. I mean, they could really go to any of these teams. But just from a pure nostalgia point of view and just from an entertainment standpoint, wouldn't it be interesting to see them reacquire old Leaf goaltender James Reimer and Reimer to come back to Toronto? I know as much as, uh, you know, things didn't go the best. He had a decent career in Toronto, but obviously those game sevens against the Bruins especially were not kind to the Leafs and to Reimer. Um, but I know he was a pretty much a fan favorite. At least I think that's fair to say. I know there's a lot of, a lot of people that really liked Reimer in Toronto. He's a likable guy. I wonder if they would make that consideration if the Carolina Hurricanes go down that road. I mean, they made it clear that it could be an option. And I would think that Reimer, because he's a pending UFA and older, that he'd be more likely to be traded than Nadalkovich. But hard to say what Waddell's thinking. But I know there's lots of options out there. If Toronto wants to add in goal, there's Jonathan Bernier in Detroit. He's also been linked to the Philadelphia Flyers. Of course, Bernier, former Maple Leaf goaltender as well. So there's that old connection. So you have to think that there's a possibility that the Leafs could go out and get one of their old nutminders to bring him back as insurance. I mean, you've also got Jack Campbell, who's been in and out. Like I, As time goes on here, I think there's going to be a, more of a likelihood, unless we get kind of a firm answer and timeline and exactly what's going on with Campbell and Anderson that, that, you know, there's a good chance. I think the Leafs will add in goal. Now, will they replace Freddie Anderson? Will they trade him? Doubtful. Most teams aren't going to want to pay, take him on being injured. So I would think it would only be a scenario as if Freddie Anderson will end up on long-term injured reserve and they can uh, use some more relief that way to add a contract that way. But difficult to say. Just some different options out there for him and a couple with some nostalgic references there that would certainly be somewhat fun and interesting, at least from my perspective, to see if they made their way back to Toronto to do battle for the playoffs. So let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments and we'll discuss further. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and turning on your notifications so you don't miss any future content and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'd appreciate it if you did. As always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.